represent Infinity Wall, vertical locomotion in virtual reality using a rock climbing treadmill. With the ongoing improvement of commodity virtual reality headsets, their ability to create immersion increases continuously. However, movement in the virtual environment is still confined by the physical space. To overcome this issue, techniques like point and teleport have been introduced in the past. In doing so, the user actively acknowledges the physical borders of the space available, which might break immersion. While walking or running is the usual form of locomotion inside a virtual environment, other forms have been presented as well, including rock climbing. With the increasing popularity of rock climbing, new technologies have been introduced into this sport. Multiple vendors offer so-called climbing treadmills. These have a vertical conveyor belt with attached hand and footholds. The mechanics involved move the belt in sync with the climber, allowing for an infinite descent. While these machines are commercially available, an integration of VR is still missing. In this late-breaking work, we present the implementation of a system that allows for climbing on a physical climbing treadmill while being immersed in a virtual environment. For this, we use the Vive VR system. Vive trackers are attached to the frame of the climbing wall to track the position and slant of the machine. Three lighthouse systems were employed, two in the front of the wall and one above the wall pointing towards the floor. In the back of the wall, a spring-loaded wheel with a rotary encoder measures the position of the wall. A magnet glued on the belt indicates the null position to read switch. To obtain 3D models of the climbing holes, we used photogrammetry. These holes are then mounted with bolts that are screwed into existing threads integrated into the belt of the climbing wall. To position the virtual holes in respect to the physical counterparts, we implemented a simple editor. First, the position of the physical hold has to be defined. This is done by placing the bottom of the Vive controller directly on the head of the bolt. Placing the controller again on the belt defines the ground plane. The user is then guided through the process of selecting the corresponding virtual model of the climbing hold. After selecting the virtual hold, the correct orientation can be set by rotating the Vive controller. To visualize the climber's hands and feet in the virtual environment, we used Vive trackers and commercially available straps. A simple calibration method aligns the virtual models with the extremities of the user. The first showcase features a virtual exhibition room with a simplified representation of the climb station. Using a custom route editor, only a subset of the physically present holds will be displayed per revolution of the belt. The second showcase immerses the climber into a skyscraper climbing simulator in a futuristic city. The system presented allows for continuous climbing in a virtual environment. To add to the feeling of height, an altimeter is shown on the climber's wrist. Informal trials have shown that climbing is easily possible. A piece of virtual floor is faded in whenever the climber's feet approach the physical floor to bring back a sense of orientation.